All right, it's time. We just got our prototype in about literally 15 minutes ago for uh, our Redline Siege expansion decks. And I'm gonna do an unboxing here and check it out. Huge thanks, of course, to all of our fans and backers and supporters and players and gamers who helped make Redline a reality. Uh, again, Redline ex Tactical Card Combat is our new expandable card game. Uh, think of it as like a mix of Magic the Gathering with like Battletech or maybe Warhammer. It is a uh, card game, but built around simultaneous combat and uh, capture and control mission objectives. So you actually have like a map you fight over, which I'll show you some of the mission cards here. And you use, uh, you can do maneuvers and... So it's, it's like a hybrid of tabletop uh, war gaming and uh, popular card games. So we funded our first Kickstarter last year, and we're opening now our first expansion, Redline Siege, which brings two new uh, decks to the factions for the game. And uh, again, huge thanks to all of our uh, backers and supporters who made this a reality. But we're going, again, um, check out our first prototype for the game and see what it looks like here. So, let's see here. What do we got? We got a brick of cards and then we got a uh, flat package here. So, let's open this up. So, when I uh, uh, got an email from our factory, they said that the uh, boxes game boxes. This, I think this is what we're opening up. Uh, the game boxes were unassembled. That way we can just check in. One second. <laughs> Don't want to break them. Uh, that way we can just make sure that the uh, print job on the boxes was good to go. Uh, of course, here we go. Totally destroying. Okay, I wrinkled these a bit. Uh, but here we go. Okay, so this is what the printout of the uh, boxes is going to look like. So you can see here where the folds and everything will be. Uh, but there is the front of the Siegecraft expansion, uh, which is the UNE deck, United Nations of Earth deck. There is the back of the box right there. That will be for a little uh, UPC codes and stuff like that, right? And then... You can see how it folds around. So basically, you're going to have a little deck box that you can put your cards in. We'll get back to this in a second. This is the foldout for the uh, Crimson Pact of Mars Sapper deck, the expansion deck right there. Same thing on the back. Explains what it, how it works. You can see the folds. And you'll have a nice little red line deck box for your cards when that comes in the mail. Let's see. And then on top of that, we have a little fold-out poster that comes inside each of the boxes. Just real quickly, kind of show you a, a quick little instruction poster, you could say, to show you how to set up the game, to show you uh, how to uh, deal with combat, turn order, and then on the back, how to read a card, the different card types, a little bit of setup and how to play. So a kind of a quick start guide on how to play the game. So you can uh, reference this while playing and uh, just a little visual guide again to make it easy to learn how to play Redline. So this is gonna come folded up uh, in each deck box. I'm assuming like this, right? Just so again, you can know how to play and uh, make it easy for new players and a quick reference guide. So that comes with every uh, box, every Siegecraft and Sapper deck box in the game. Looks like I got multiples of the poster right there. All right, so you get a deck box and you get the poster. Each deck comes with a 60 card red line deck. They also come with uh, two general cards and two mission cards, which we'll see here in a second. So you actually get 64 cards uh, in each deck. In addition, our backers got some special um, bonuses. Well, they'll be getting, and we'll see it here, I hope, uh, some special variant cards 
to bling out. Yeah, there we go. Okay, looking good. Okay, going too fast here. So here is the United Nations of Earth Sapper deck. Open this up, take a look. There we go. So General Sam McClendon and General Jeffrey Moore are the two generals that come with this deck. Um, both uh, Kickstarter backers from our previous campaign, so great to see them in the game. These are the resources you get, your supply drop cards. Okay. Super exciting, I know, but you gotta have them to play. Some special resources that come here, the, uh, I guess the, uh, in the uh, center cycle. So UNE gets the intelligence center card. Uh, it allows them to uh, use their new intel ability to look at the top card of the deck and see what's coming to kind of set up your next play. So you get two copies of Intel Center. You get a couple copies of Supply Cash. Okay, it allows you to put cards from your uh, scrapyard back into your arsenal so you can kind of recycle. And then here's the cards you get. You get uh, two copies of the Midgetay. Available before only with the uh, upgrade pack that came with our core sets from before. Uh, the Doughboy, a new Light of Freet. The Parrot, which is kind of a monster. It's got nine armor. It's a big, chonky guy and can take a lot of hits. Uh, Mako, the new Heavy of Freet for the United Nations of Earth. That is, you know, that, okay, that's the monster right there. Look out for that. You got a new Heroic Afrit, the uh, Event Horizon. It's a Tiger Cat, but it has the Stealth ability. And uh, it can generate Recon. Or when it generates Recon, you can use the Intel ability. So kind of like a souped up Tiger Cat, Tiger Cat from the previous game. You get a copy of a Neutral Scorpion in the deck. Uh, it can be used by any faction, but another Heavy Afrit. A Nurins, a Medium Afrit, kind of a little uh, Utility Afrit. Very good, by the way. And some pilots, uh, you get a Herc, who's our first neutral pilot, can be used in any deck. Also, kick, uh, old Kickstarter backer, glad to see you in there, Herc. There we go. Solaris, another pilot. Some new equipment, armor-piercing rounds, digital tracers, armor, reinforced nano, arm, nano armor, give your freets some more armor value. Wasp cruise missiles allow you to hit targets from the red line. Uh, the David laser, which again was available before in our upgrade pack. So here it is printed into the game properly. Very powerful, heroic piece of equipment. Means you can only have one in play at a time. That's what the gold corners are for. Uh, Buckeye, a unique pilot who actually had a, a little short story written about her on our website, redlinegame.com. So kind of a character from lore who's made it into the game. Two copies of Counter Command. Now this is a, um, I don't know, if you play Magic, it's a cancel base. It's a cancel. There you go, okay? And then we got our strategy cards. So these are the World War II promos or alt arts. These are available only to our Kickstarter backers. And what we wanted to do is give them some kind of a, you know, a World War II theme to that. So that's General Camellia Brand from the core set. Kind of a cool little Rosie Riveter piece of art. Uh, so it's there on the delaying action. This is another take on an old World War II poster for fire support. It allows you to uh, kind of uh, mill or raise out your opponent's decks with uh, fire based counters. Some tactics cards, cold fusion bomb, very powerful. That's why it costs 10. And then some little tactics cards here to round out the deck. These are the two mission cards you get. You get a copy of Fertile Field and Rendezvous Point. And so again, in the game, when you play the game, you have a mission deck, right? You flip over the top five cards. That creates the uh, map that you end up fighting for over the course of the game. So you can upgrade or add to your mission deck uh, with two new mission cards that come with the deck right here. So very cool. So that's what you get with the Siegecraft deck. Let's quickly look here at the Crimson Pact of Mars Sapper deck. So while the United Nations of Earth is kind of focused on um, attacking your enemy's deck with fire-based counters, 
This deck is about um, using mine counters, which we'll go over here in a second, and then a little uh, kind of uh, a rushing deck. You can attack with a lot of quick uh, little light of freets here. So that's their focus here. UNE is about, again, control and uh, fire base counters to attack your opponent's deck. Mine counters here and uh, rush down with light of freet. So you get General Anna Draga. Uh, very powerful here. When in play, she upgrades your light of freets across the board. And her special ability, you can play Light of Freets from your scrapyard to the battlefield uh, by paying um, uh, Recon. There we go. I can't read here from far away. So you can actually kind of like, I guess, a zombie of free, bring it back from the scrapyard and bring an old dead of Freets back into the fight. Very powerful. Or Gregory Yun. Uh, he creates mine counters, which uh, basically when attacking, if there's any mine counters in play, if your opponent rolls an odd number, they take one damage. So that, you know, some unlucky dice rolls, you can start accumulating damage here very quickly. And his ability when one of your freets in, are, is destroyed in combat, uh, he can do, uh, uh, has it deal an extra damage. So kind of a little parting shot on the way out. So he's real good at dealing damage, chipping away with mines and having your freets be destroyed. Copy of the supply drop cards that come in the deck. Okay. Dropping here on uh, Mars, it looks like. Now, this is their center card, Cyber War Center. Same thing, it's got an ability for two recon. You can take an enemy weapon and flip it face down, basically put it out of play for the rest of the turn, kind of hacking them. Very powerful. Two copies of Supply Cash. Again, you can recycle cards from your scrapyard into your deck. Uh, the Lancet, very cheap, one cost of free. You get four of these. Again, it's a light of free kind of rushdown deck. So you, uh, when you swarm with these, if you have a, a squad with uh, two or more free, basically three of in a squad, you get an extra ability here. So these work good in groups. They get a copy of the um, Hojan, which is an old of from the core set, but this is a heroic version. You can only have, again, one in play at a time. Uh, but it gets a uh, swarm ability too, so it works well when in groups, like with other Light of Freets. Uh, the Wind Shark, again, previously only available in our upgrade pack from the core set purchase, is printed here. So you can get a copy of the Wind Shark very fast with 8 speed. Fan design to Freet, by the way, very cool. Uh, you get a copy of the Scorpion. Oh, two copies of Wind Shark, there we go. Uh, the Mongol, which is a mine laying a freet, so you can keep those mine counters coming. Hawthorne is their heavy, um, very, very powerful as well. A lot of armor, a little slow, uh, but you know, it's got sharpshooter ability, so you have more accurate dice rolls. And then when you swarm, uh, it gets to make an extra attack. Uh, don't sleep on that, okay? You get a couple copies of the Far Strider. This has the rear guard ability, so it can actually hang back when you're doing your missions. And then once uh, mission dials have been um, assigned or, or, I guess, set, you can use this guy to kind of plug in any holes uh, or uh, um, counter any unforeseen attacks that come from your opponent. Basically gives you flexibility when planning out your missions. Again, it's another light of free that gets a bonus from General Draga. Uh, a pilot here, Cranked, another uh, Kickstarter backer. Now in the game, very cool. Thank you for your support, Cranked. Hong Long, another pilot uh, for the uh, Crimson Pact. You get a copy of um, two, two copies of R90 Cosmos 4 missiles, missile upgrades. Two copies of the reinforced nano armor. You give those light of freets a little bit uh, more uh, staying power. Salvage light lasers, very powerful, but they don't work when your freet takes damage, so keep them in pristine condition. You get two copies of data-linked cannons. They get an ability when you swarm. Three, three copies of detonation. Very simple, pay two resources, deal two damage to any target. You can deal damage to strategies, decks, generals, freets. Very nice card. I think uh, CPM players are going to love having this in their decks. Drop Pawns, uh, this is a fun card. You can actually play uh, Afrits right from your hand to a mission. So you can drop in in the middle of a fight and surprise your opponents with uh, Afrits they never saw coming. Find Cover, two copies. You can uh, negate some damage here depending on Afrits size. Very cool. I love that art, by the way. Woo. 
Strategy cards, data linked mines, makes your mines uh, an upgrade. And red carpet, which if you get in play early, you can basically uh, start playing some, I think, uh, medium of freets from your hand, kind of cheat them into play. It comes out of the factory, very cool. Two copies of Minefield, which you're gonna want um, to use often to get mine counters into play. Blaze of Glory, this is a reprint from the core set, so you get some extra damage when the freets die. There are two mission cards. You get a copy of Fertile Field, just like United Nations of Earth deck, and you get a copy of Lone Bridge. Uh, and basically, when this is in play, it kind of bridges the missions on either side. So when you assign a freet to attack here, uh, once dials have been uh, flipped, you could always divert it to the mission either to the left or right. So it kind of connects those two missions. Again, gives you flexibility when um, setting your mission dials so you can kind of um, cover more ground with the bridge. Cool, right? So there we go. Last thing to show is our throwback pack. So we unlocked this with the, our, um, I don't know, our, our unlocks, I guess, whatever you call in the Kickstarter campaign. So these are some um, extra cards that you can get uh, if you order a Siege deck, which you can still order on our CrowdOx, our, our Late Pledge website. Uh, but for a couple of weeks still before we close it, ba basically you're going to get um, these alternate art copies of some uh, cards. It's a mix of cards from the core set and Siege, so here, let me show you. But these are really cool because we had special art commissioned just for these cards. So it's all old black and white, kind of like 90s gaming style artwork, right? That's why this is called a throwback pack. So here's another copy of the Horus. This comes from the core set, but you have this really cool, again, really great art, uh, black and white there. Forceful Recon is a Siege card. Okay, another copy of that. You get a copy of Stuck in the Mud, also from the core set. Okay, and then you get this really gorgeous looking art with the scorpion, right? So two copies of the scorpion here in battle. You get another copy of the Mako from Siege. And then you get a Tiger Cat, which comes from the core set. So just, you know, these are exclusive to Kickstarter backers. And again, just some little extra cards that you can add in your deck, show people you supported Redline from the beginning, and just kind of you know, bling out your uh, bling out your deck with some really cool cards, and they're uh, hard to miss when on the table because that black and art white really really pops, and it really looks really great. The art here is is top notch. <clears throat> we spared no expense. And then finally, the uh, throwback pack. It comes with the Crimson Pact of Mars deck. So you get an extra copy of Detonation, okay? You get a copy of Full Salvo. This comes from the core set, so I guess it's a re reprint. You get another copy of the Lancet. Uh, very cool art right there of them charging into battle with a swarm in effect. You get a copy of the Hammer, which is a core set of Freet. You get a copy of the Sledge. That's really sweet art right there, by the way. Um, of course, of free. And then you get a copy of the Mongol, which is uh, Siege of Freet, the one that lays the landmine. So again, this is a free uh, thank you gift to all of our backers. Thank you for pledging and helping us unlock. And again, every expansion deck is going to come with these six cards for free. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, alt art, throwback, 90s style, black and white gaming art. Very, very cool. So, all right, that is pretty much it. So, looks very good to go. And again, appreciate, again, all the support here. We're really excited to get Siege in players' hands. It really um, expands, um, you know, what comes with the core set, opens up new options for gameplay and deck building and customization and, uh, you know, Redline is, is fun to play. It's even more fun uh, when you have a, a bigger card pool that comes with Siege and just all the uh, opportunities that that opens up when it comes again to gameplay and, and deck construction. So we're really excited to get this in your hands. Uh, this looks good to go. And again, thanks for all the support. 
check us out again on uh, redlinegame.com if you haven't already. And if you want to get your hands on Siege or the core set, uh, you can um, order the core set again from our website. Uh, but actually, you can also, you can actually, okay, let me, let me backtrack. You can order both from our CrowdOx. Uh, so you can get a copy of Redline and get some Siege expansions. Might even have a couple extra goodies there as well if you go visit Redline on CrowdOx.com. Dot org, uh, crowdox dot something. So, all right. Thanks again, everybody, and uh, for watching our unboxing video. Siege is looking great, and uh, more good things to come in the future. So, again, thanks for supporting Redline. We'll catch you later. Siege the day. <laughs>